Hi friends, so a friend of mine received some items from a family member and it was these. And I hope that you can see them. These are actually button covers. I don't know if you remember these from the 1980s or 1990s, but they would, this part right here would just slide over your button on your shirt and give it a little embellishment. She had these and there was a pair of matching earrings, believe it or not. And so she said, hey, will you make me a matching tassel? And I said, well, of course I will. And that's what we're gonna do. So we went to the thrift store because she was looking for stuff. And I happened to find this beautiful gingham blue and white fabric. So, and it actually was in one piece, but I've torn it. Actually, she tore it for me, <laughs> which was a great help. And I will now pull the, you know how there's the loose, the loose pieces. I'll go through and clean this up and pull those off. And then we will create a tassel and we will embellish our tassel with these great little button covers. I have chosen some coordinating satin ribbon that I would like to add with this fabric. So I'm measuring it out and cutting it. Now I'm separating out the pieces and I'm kind of layering the satin ribbon onto it. And now I'm going to gather it together and kind of find the center. You know, I, I like to make sure it's even on both sides. And now I'm gonna use a piece of the white satin ribbon and just double knot it right in the center. I'm kind of fluffing it out, making sure, you know, I've got it the way I like it. Now I've got another piece of the satin ribbon and I'm, now I'm gonna go ahead and tie the, you know, like about one inch down. And we do that to secure all of the fibers so that they don't pull out. If we just had the one double knot, it would be so easy to, you know, pull this thing apart. Now I'm going through and there are just a few extra, you know, pieces of the fabric that are coming off. So I am grooming it, if you will. <laughs> now I'm just going to even up the bottom a little bit. It was pretty, it was pretty even to begin with, but there are a few pieces that just need a little trimming. Also, I like to trim most of the ends at an angle. I just think it looks better. All right, so now I'm trying to figure out, well, first let me show you. These are the things I've pulled out of my stash. And um, actually, Mariah with Rings Falls Apart, she's the one I collaborate with frequently. She gave these to me, and this is who I'm making this for, because she's the one who has the matching vintage earrings. So I think I'll try to use these in the tassel. I may use some of these new leaves that I got from BB Craft. I might try those. This is a thrift store find. Um, some blue glass beads might work. And then I was looking at these, and how do I want to try to adhere them? And I was, you know, just kind of looking at them, playing with them a little bit. And we see here that the back opens up. So I think what I might do, is try to take this flap off and then I could get an o-ring in where this is and then I'll be able to hang them. So um, I will probably do this in fast forward. One down, three to go. Once I got the first one off it was way easier to get the other three off because then at least I knew what I was doing. When I removed that backing, there was like this little um, hole in the metal where the backing had attached. So that is where I'm adding these O-rings to so that I can hang these things on the tassel. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these leaves that I got from BB Craft. And so I'm adding O-rings to those as well. And speaking of BB Craft, I'm trying to get into the habit of letting you guys know that I have free shipping uh, links in my description box and I also have discount codes in my description box for like, you know, when they have items on sale and whatnot. So now I was able to attach that little button cover to the leaf and I think that looks super cute. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm gonna do that with the rest of them. Now I'm just taking this little jump ring off and on this end I took the, there was like the closure, little miniature 
closure, lobster claw closure. So I took that off of the end. It looks like this is fabric that's holding this together. So I wanna be careful. If I cut it, I might end up in a, in a bad situation because I can't add like, you know, the metal O-rings to it if I do that. Just wondering, well, I could just unbead the whole thing and then create new, which that's just a lot more time consuming. So I was trying to get away with not doing that. Okay, now we are going to start attaching. I attached this one. I can't remember if I filmed it or not. And then I just tied this one on. So now I'm gonna put one over here. Now I need to add this one. And I wonder if I could add it right here at the very top. I'd like to do that. I'm gonna see if I can attach it way up here. If it doesn't lay flat, then I'll have to move it, but we'll see. I might get lucky. Okay, friends, here she is. Pretty happy with her. Um, it was a lot of fun. You know, everything on here is used except for these leaves. So I found the material at the thrift store. And then these and the necklace belonged to a family member of Mariah. And actually this is new too. I got this from BB Craft. So this is new and the leaves are new. Both of those are from BB Craft. Everything else is thrifted or given. And this tassel is going to be given away um, to whoever purchases the vintage earrings that match it. So I'm going to be giving this to Mariah so that she can put it in the package with the vintage earrings. So anyway, that's our Tassel Tuesday, everyone. I hope you enjoyed watching me assemble this tassel. It is fun. It's different. It's unique. It's the only one in the world like it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.